this is not a sponsored post. I just really wanted to use my platform to help support one of my really great friends who I went to college with. Her name is Keisha Cameron, and she wrote these two books that are available on Amazon. The first one is called Aiden Learns to Share, and the second one is called Aiden Learns Responsibility. Now, Aiden is actually Keisha's son, and he is just one of the sweetest little boy that I know. He's super smart, and these books were perfectly illustrated to kind of show you guys what his personality is. The illustration in this book is really, really good. What I also love about this book is that it has activities at the back. It has the first one, Aiden Learns to Share. It has a coloring activity at the back. And the second one that she wrote, it has coloring activity, it has spelling, and I think it has a crossword puzzle also at the back. If you're a mama, you're a grandma, or you're a friend of someone that has a little baby boy or a little toddler, go ahead and help me support my friend Keisha Cameron. These books are available on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description box for you guys if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out. New car seat? Huh? You like your new car seat? Yeah, it's really sturdy. I like it actually. I might like it better than the one that I have in I our know, car. Hi, baby. You're just looking at you know where you're going? We're taking you to the park. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. So nice and sunny out. I love it. Thank you. You want to run? <laughs> it feels good to finally have some sunshine. It's been raining for so long. Anyway, we just got to the park and we're gonna let Kingston play around for a little bit. Hurry! <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> Look at that run. He runs to his favorite spot. Yeah, this is a perfect time because there's no one here. Park is full but we came here at a good time when school isn't out yet and so it's just Kingston and one other family over there playing so he has a whole park to himself huh? what does grandma want huh? can I have a vanilla cupcake thank you coffee shop and they're called Cup of Cha and I'm getting the peppermint cocoa latte, one of my favorites. 
That was also super good. The hot rose milk tea. Sharon, I found the jasmine. I'm gonna get a couple. So this is what the jasmine will look like. You it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah, was a good boy, daddy. I went to the park and you I had the park, park all by myself. All by yourself? Yeah, and you I just played. Slides? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What's this one? This is azure. Okay, so here's what our project is. Our project is to fill out all these dirt spots, right babe? Yeah. Well, we just took out the cactus. <laughs> yeah, there was For a safety. big cactus here that Chris planted years ago. It's beautiful, but not exactly safe. Yeah, Kingston was like hurting himself on it. So we want to fill out all of this area. And then over here by the shed, these didn't make it through the drought. Um, so we want to fill that out. These are plumerias. They should start blooming any minute they'll now. They smell, yeah, they'll come back, but they smell amazing. And we want to do like a little vegetable garden back here. How cute is this little chair set up right there? We want to do, yeah, like, a little, do like, all the pots we have. like a little vegetable garden over here. And then we want to fill out right there. And then all over here, over here, behind the wall, I mean, in front of the wall. So they have this ivy plant, and as you guys can see, it's already running on the wall. I don't know how long that will take to fill out all the way. But anyway, the plan is just to fill out these spots down here with smaller plants. So these are gonna go in that little planter pot up there. Yeah, the pink jasmine. What do you want to put those? Jasmine, I want to put against the wall. Run, no, I want, I want to run on the, on the arch. Okay. That's how they have them at Home Depot. I was, I was thinking something just the other day. I know, it needs to give me something. You look so preppy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, you look so go-to therapy especially when I lived in Jamaica like my garden looks so good I would always come home from work and there's just something about gardening it's just very therapeutic I would always wake up in the morning early at six o'clock in the morning and start gardening before the Sun came out and then the first thing that I do when I got home from work was um, gardening Sharon's making her favorite casserole. Chicken divan. It comes from my mama. It's cooked chicken, broccoli, and then you make a, a mixture of cream of chicken soup, a mm. little mayo, Yummy. fresh lemon juice, and I actually use curry in it. Really? Curry Wait, what kind of curry? The little the ones, Oh. Gives it a have, little, you, have you used it in the one you made before? Uh -huh. It just gives it a little cook, just like a quarter of a teaspoon of it. Oh, can't wait to try it. And then she's making her twice baked potatoes. Which we had made for the other night, but we had so much food, so we're having that, and then biscuits. Kind of comfort food tonight. 
Chris's favorite. Okay. I have your phone. Kingston's watching his cartoons. already planted those jasmine and I put one on each side of this and it'll grow up over and that's gonna look so pretty so I have some of these left over I'm just gonna put them by our little gulf guy right here Kingy, booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> ah, he's such a sponge. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you stay tuned for more progress on our backyard spring gardening. Bye!